Lastly, I'd like to recognize everyone here who is a member of Kentuckians for the Commonwealth. And all who are involved with KFTC allies. Thank you for all the times you have worked to learn about issues, have taught, lobbied, written, called, demonstrated, occupied, stood up, sat down, sung, prayed, walked, marched, raised money, given money, negotiated, argued, and organized. Together we are building new power. Kentuckians for the Commonwealth is a statewide grassroots organization of people taking action for justice. One issue KFTC works on is ending the destructive practice of mountaintop removal mining. Each year, on February 14th, KFTC friends and allies gather in Frankfurt to rally around the issue. The rally is called I Love Mountains Day. Well, I'm really here today because I'm worried that our government cares more about the profits of the big coal companies than they care about the citizens of Kentucky, the people that actually live here and, you know, have to make a, a life. During the week leading up to I Love Mountains Day, the Central Kentucky chapter of KFTC holds Lexington Loves Mountains Week to build energy around the issue. The week includes an old-time music showcase, a film screening, kids' activities, letter writing, and more. Much of Appalachia community and culture is poised for destruction with a method of coal mining called mountaintop removal, or MTR. Mountaintop removal coal mining as a practice is as simple as it sounds. The top of an Appalachian mountain is removed via machinery to reveal a small seam of coal. The overburden is dumped over the side of the mountain into the communities and streams below. These streams, also known as headwater streams, are the starting place for most creeks and rivers that grow and build to provide water for the communities across the state and region. Mountaintop removal coal mining has resulted in mountains being reduced to expose small coal seams while also reducing the workforce employed to mine the coal. Communities suffer from the dust, mud, polluted drinking water, flooding, health risks, and systematic poverty since most of the money from mined coal leaves the region. Albeit, coal mining in Kentucky has been around for a hundred years. Coal camps and unions have come and gone. Coal mining has become more politically charged than ever. From rural communities to urban areas, the topic of coal mining has become emotional and even more political, and has deep influence on the political landscape. Politicians are not protecting the citizens, but instead choosing to insulate the coal companies. Clean water and healthy communities are the ones who suffer. Politicians and coal operators have been successful in closing down any form of conversation about responsible mining, creating new jobs, a new economy for Appalachia, and new forms of energy sources for the country. However, there is a vision for transforming an economy based on coal to an economy that is based on job creation and leadership. House Bill 167, the Clean Energy Opportunity Act, would pass a renewable and efficiency portfolio standard requiring utilities in Kentucky to get an increasing share of their energy from clean, renewable sources and energy efficiency programs. By passing this bill, we have the opportunity to curb energy costs for our families, farms, and businesses. We can use our resources and know-how to put people to work and get our economy back on track, and we can improve our health and well-being. House Bill 167 is a good start towards showing leadership and changing Kentucky's energy conversation. However, we need your help too. You can become a member of KFTC, contact your legislator, and conserve energy at home. Together we can stop mountaintop removal and make a clean energy future a reality for Kentucky.